Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Question it says, do we fast the 9th and the 10th? Or do we just fast the 10th? Or do we fast the 9th, 10th and 11th of Muharram? Related to the Ashura fast. And so when it comes to the Ashura fast, the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fasted it on the 10th. And then, مُخَالَفَةً الْيَهُودِ In order to differ with the Yahud who used to fast the 10th, he said that if I live till next year, I will fast the day before it. I will fast the 9th with the 10th. And so, if a person fasts the 9th and the 10th, then they've come with the Sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And if a person fasts just the 10th, then they've also come with what the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did the first time. And if a person comes with fasting the 10th and the 11th, then this is also found in a hadith reported in Muslim Ahmed, in which the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, خَالِفُ الْيَهُودِ Go against the Yahud. صُومُوا يَوْمًا قَبْلَهُ أَوْ يَوْمًا بَعْدَهُ Fast a day before it or a day after it, where the choice is given. Although this hadith is differed upon its authenticity. You then have another report which mentions صُومُوا يَوْمًا قَبْلَهُ وَيَوْمًا بَعْدَهُ Fast a day before it and a day after it, as reported by Al-Bayhaqi fi sunan Right, and that's also differed over. However, some of the Salaf, they used to mention that fasting all three days might be possible in the situation where you don't know when the moon actually was sighted or there was khilaf and when the moon was sighted. And so because if you were to fast the ninth and the 10th, if there's khilaf on when the moon was sighted at the beginning of the month, if there was difference over when the beginning of the month was, right, then you may have fasted the 8th and the 9th when it should have been the 9th, or, or you, you fasted thinking it was the 9th and the 10th, but it, sh- but it actually was the 8th and, and the 9th. So to avoid that, you fast all three days, to make sure that you've actually fasted what? Ashura. Right? Because if someone, di- if two people, or if two sets of people differ over when the month started, so one says the month started a day earlier, and one says no, it started a day later, if you take the view that it started a day earlier, then your 9th and 10th will be to them, their 8th and, and ninth, Right? So to these people, you will not have had fasted Ashura. Rather, you had fasted the day before Ashura, the ninth, and the day before that, the eighth. Right? So to avoid that khilaf, you come with the fasting according to you, 9, 10, 11, in order for both, in, in both camps, you will be considered to have fasted Ashura. وَهَذَا رُوِيَ عَنِ بْنِ سِيرِينَ And Imam Ahmed رَحِيمَهُ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى mentioned this as well. So it's not a bid'ah to say to fast all three days. And as we know, they have the general hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu that he never fasted a month. More likely, he would fast a month of Muharram, of course, with the exception of Ramadan, right? And so, uh, and there is no fasting more beloved to Allah in a month than in the month of Muharram after Ramadan. And so a person, if he wants to fast all three days, no problem. If he wants to just fast the 10th, no problem. If he wants to fast the 9th and the 10th, no problem. And if he wants to fast the 10th and 11th, no problem. Wallahu ta'ala alam.